Hey there folks, my name is Joe Barnard and today as always we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, the first is the launch pad that's behind us here. Um, you can see there's some blue tape on our launch electronics and that's because we're about to repaint the pad. We had some scarring from the obvious uh, launch anomaly of Relay F3 so we're going to repaint it the matte gray to cover up some of the um, scarring there. So moving on we had a thrust vectoring static fire test about three weeks ago. I've been spending those three weeks tuning in a couple of different ways, trying to basically simulate the rocket uh, and how it behaves based on certain forces, certain force inputs um, over, over those past three weeks. It's been pretty tough to do. It's been pretty difficult. I tried using a transfer function but couldn't simulate the inertia um, quite right. And then um, I tried developing sort of a proprietary MATLAB or Simulink um, plant model. And that didn't work so well uh, for, I think my data wasn't totally aligning with what the um, sort of plant generator was expecting. And then I tried the third thing, which is basically the most complicated of them all, the most cumbersome to build, which is um, vector resolution into moment conversion. Um, so converting from Newtons to Newton seconds, feeding into uh, a block that sort of maps inertia or uh, it's a, it's a six degrees of freedom block. So it, it uh, takes in forces or uh, moments um, and then converts them into sort of position over time. So rotational position or translational position. In this, in this, um, in this scenario, we're using just rotational position. Then I feed it into a PID controller um, and then I tune the PID which feeds back into the vector resolution block. All of this is uh, pretty complicated. I can explain it in another video if you want. Let me know in the comments if you want to sort of know exactly how this works. Um, otherwise, it's it's a lot to get into in one video. So uh, that's working out now. I did a bifilar or bifilar pendulum test. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it yet. Today, uh, to get the actual inertia of the vehicle, everything seems to be tuned. And the next step is to verify that we've got a correctly working stability algorithm on the rocket. So that'll be another uh, thrust vectoring static fire test in probably the next few days. Okay, moving on here. I hope you don't mind that there's a fan in the background. The camera keeps overheating. Um, so I've just put a fan on it. Uh, anyway, moving on, we have uh, in the coming weeks, another static fire, not the thrust vectoring one, but we have a just a total static fire, a total hold down static fire in California, actually. So my buddy Johnny has built a test stand um, fixed up with a bunch of different load cells to take high resolution data of uh, rocket motors and um, different, I guess, like a propeller on a drone, things like that. to test stand to test a bunch of different things. So I'll be using that. Um, I'll be outsourcing the test basically to him so that we can get actual data uh, between ignition time, between the time that the voltage is sent to the igniter and the time that the motor reaches peak thrust or that the motor even starts to ignite. And that's really important for retropropulsive landing because tenths of a second count, really tiny fractions of a second count in making sure that we hit the ground at a zero velocity or that a velocity that's close enough to the landing legs tolerance, um, right? So like one meter per second, maybe even two meters per second um, before they break or that we make sure we don't hop when we hit the ground. So that's a pretty important test. It's coming up in the, few, in the next few weeks. Um, I don't uh, have an exact date yet, but we'll be doing that soon. Um, I think that's all for now. Thank you for watching, as always. Uh, there will be more soon. Again, let me know in the comments if you want something more detailed about how the vector resolution, moment conversion, um, the PID tuning, all, how, how all of that works. Let me know in the comments if you're looking for more of that style of thing, or if you don't care so much and you're just really hoping to see some rockets fly soon, because I am too. It's been a long time. Anyway, as always, uh, you can visit www.bps.space to check out more or uh, at Joe Barnard on Twitter, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks.